Hello and welcome to the resistance band class. So we're going to start straight away and I'll explain as we go along. Now if you're sitting in a chair, take your legs out a little bit wider than the chair. So we're going to come to sit on the edge of the chair and your feet are wide. If you're standing, your feet are wide, comfortably wide with your toes slightly pointing outwards. Now take the band so that you're holding the centre of the band here like this. Bring the arms up level with the shoulders, level with the collarbones. And now we're going to work with bringing the band open. So we pull it open, two, three, and release again. One, two, three, keep going again. And one, two, three. Keep your elbows up high, don't let them drop down, keep them high. Three, release, and one, two. Now, keep going again, one, Two, squeeze the belly in, squeeze the pelvic floor up. Now you all know what your pelvic floor is, don't you? Give me a yes. And one, two, three. They know, Susie. And one, two, three. Do it again. Two more steps. One, two. This is just warm up and you're feeling the shoulder blades pull open. So we're going to take that a faster time. It's single time. We squeeze, release. Squeeze, tall with the spine, pull the belly in. If you're sitting on the chair, you can just push your feet down a little bit and we'll make the lower body work. Now we're gonna speed this up, let's go. And one, two, three, four. Squeeze the belly, pull up through the spine, nice and straight. Give me eight more, keep your elbows high. If you can, I'm sure you can feel it now. Four, three, so can we do a double, double time? That's one, two, three, four. Very small here. And release and relax, good. Now, so can you see how effective it is? We're going to, if you're sitting in the chair, of course you need to shift around to the side to do this. If you're standing, you just interlace your hands behind your back, stretch them down and then pull them up. Tuck your tailbone under so that we're never sticking our bum out. Okay, please. And release. Now, this is something that we've got to learn, and you will learn it quickly. So, grab your bands to the outer edge. My palms are facing downwards right now. Now you're going to chuck it behind your back like a skipping rope and drop it down so that your elbow goes over it and you can see we now pull it up to the armpit here. So we're going to be using the bands here. Good. And you can tighten it if you want to. Keep it wrapped over the back of the hand as we've just done because if you change it and put it like that it's going to cut your hand here. So it goes over the back of the hand. It's the best way to do it. Okay. Nice and tall with your legs out wide. So if you're sitting on a chair, I want you to get your legs as wide as you can here. Right on the edge, we squeeze the belly, the bottom, the pelvic floor over one side center. Over and center. Of course, if you're standing, you're pushing your feet down into the floor so that you're feeling steady. Can we move the arm over the head so that we feel it more in the waist? Eight, seven. You can feel it in your waist. Pull your belly in all of the time. Squeeze up your pelvic floor all of the time. Two. And one, go on one side only, one and back. Same side all the time. Pull the belly in. See how my other hand is just tucked into the body. Four, and three, and two. Going over on the other side, squeezing in the waist. One, and two, good. Breathe out. Four more, five. 
Squeeze the belly to support your back to one side, other side. Let's go. One side, other side. Breathing out as you go over. Check in on your belly that you're pulling it in and up. Two and one and release. Good. Sitting up nice and tall on the chair or still standing with your legs out wide. Now, see how the band is here. You're just going to interlace the fingers in there like that. So we call this hammer arms, like a hammer. Legs out wide, squeeze the belly in. Now when you're sitting on the chair, you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're on the edge. You're going to push forwards and round the spine. So you push the arms forwards and round the spine, bending the knees and release. Let's do that again. Push forward, squeeze the belly, squeeze the pelvic floor. Arms pushing forwards, tuck the tailbone under and release again. Squeeze, tuck the tailbone under, pull up your pelvic floor. Lengthen out your arms as much as you can and release again. Breathe out. Squeeze that pelvic floor, squeeze that belly in and release again. Let's go. Squeeze. Tuck in the tailbone right under so you've got a nice round back. And release. Again. Squeeze. Good. You're all looking good to me. Squeeze in, squeeze in. And release. One more flow like this. Squeeze and push. Same thing, but just a little bit faster. Three counts. Let's go. One, two, three. Release. Again. One, two, Nice round spine. Don't let your bum stick out. Tuck your tailbone under and release again. You should feel your belly pulling in to the back wall. Again. Breathe out. Two, three. Release. Breathe out. Two, three. Two more. Two, three. Again. And one, two, three. And release. Give yourself a little rest. If you're standing, give your legs a little shake out. If you're sitting, yeah, you can give them a little shake out there too. Excellent. So same thing with the arms. Hammer arms, interlace your hands. You're sitting, your legs are very, very wide. Very wide, wide as you can get them. Standing, we're going a bit wider now. Now I've stretched out the band and I'm twist and twist and twist. Breathe out, breathe out. Breathe out. Squeeze the belly in, of course. All the way through, we need to think about doing that. Now, you might have weak muscles there at first, and also, they build in time, so you don't have to worry about that. Rest any time you need to, and come back to it when you can. But what's very important is your breathing, so make sure you breathe. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Breathe out. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Similar. Punch your opposite arm to the opposite wall and twist. Let's go. Twist, twist, twist. Now the resting arm is just staying tucked into my body. Give me eight more. Seven, six. Five. Squeeze the belly, squeeze up the pelvic floor. Again, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. Make sure you're breathing. Breathe. And eight, seven. Pulling in and up. And four, three. One more set. Eight, seven. And four, three. Two and release. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I'm not really feeling it that much, then maybe you need to get a stronger band and work out with it. So we're either sitting, we're going to just drop the band for a moment, put it over your chair or over your arm or your shoulder, get your legs out wide, and as you now put your sink down into the legs, bend the knees, 
opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Take it across and twist the body. Now slowly look your face round to your back wall and breathe. Breathe slowly and deeply. Release slowly up. Let's go through on the other side. Opposite shoulder towards the opposite knee as you push your legs open. So you should feel that stretch in your lower back there. Keep breathing and your face slowly turn into the back wall. And release, slowly coming up. And let's grab hold of the band. Now this time, if you're in a chair, your feet are hip widths apart. So check that it's outer feet in line with outer knees in line with outer hips. If you're standing, it's the same. Toes facing forwards, outer feet in line with the legs on the outside all the way up to the hips. Now take your band so that your band is, again, hip width apart, maybe it's shoulder width apart. So you see how I'm holding it? My arms are straight along the shoulders and there, good. So we're going to push the feet down. Even if you're on a chair, push them down slightly. Take your arms down. Arms straight, up, slow, and three and four, and down. Pulling the bands apart slightly. You don't have to pull too hard, and up. Two, three, four, and down. Two, three. Can you stretch your arms at the elbows? Two, Three, pulling the belly in just to check there and pulling up through your pelvic floor again. Up, two, three, four, and down. Pull your shoulder blades apart. Bend your elbows, bend them into the chest, stretch them up to the sky and down. Four, three, two, again. Bend into the chest, stretch up to the sky and down, four. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but speed it up, let's go. In, up, down one and two, good. In, up, down one and two. All of the time you're pulling your belly in, squeezing through the core muscles, your hips, your bottom are feeling it. Other way, up two. Bend in and down, up one and two, bend in, and down. Straight as you come up, bend in and down. Straight, bend in, hold it there. Turn the band, because you've been facing palm down, now we're gonna turn the band so it's facing palm up. Still pushing your feet down with your legs hip widths apart, narrow hip. We're gonna do some bicep curls here as you pull the band apart. Let's go. Give me eight, seven, six, Five, four. You can see the muscles if we come closer to the camera in the upper arms where it's working there. Yes, yeah. six, five, four. A little bit of your forearm is working here. Keep your elbows tucked into your waist. Six, five, four, three, two. One more set. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Now, if you can continue, because I'm sure that's not hard enough yet. Okay, we're going to hold it there. Bring your elbows up. But you see how I'm keeping them narrow. I'm not letting them come out. Push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Give your arms a shake out. I hope you feel that. Just give me a yes if you did. Yeah? Interlace your hands behind your back. I'm seeing all yeses, so that's great. And draw your arms away from you. Good. Breathe. Tuck your chin in so we're not pulling forwards with the neck. Breathe. I must say it's great to see you all. And release it down slowly. Give it a little shake out there. Excellent. Okay, now let's start working hard. You should be a bit warmed up now. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
taking your legs out wide if you're on a chair if you're standing you're coming out wide again toes pointed slightly outwards to the front corners of your room now look how wide i'm taking the bands now much wider than my body much wider than my hips yes near the end ish and we're taking it up to the sky now if you're standing you're going to squat as you bring the band down to the collarbones and up squat down and if you're sitting pushing your feet down as you bring the arms down to the collarbones yes pulling open and up release so i'm pulling it open more here so the arms are nearly straight now i'm bending the elbows and taking it up there good give me four more and four squeeze the belly tuck the tailbone under three pulling it open to the collarbones two more Pull in the belly in all the time. One more. If you're on the chair, keep pushing your feet down as you open the arms. Faster time, let's go. One, and pull the belly in. Squeeze up your pelvic floor. Breathing out. Four more, four, and three, and two. Stay low, double time. Push forwards and back, keeping the arms almost bent. Just pull him back, back, back. Give me eight more. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five. Last four, three, two, and release. We're going to give your arms a little rest now. But first, give me a stretch as before. Bring your arms interlaced and away from you. Keep your tailbone tucked under and breathe. and release. Now when we work on the waist, we're all coming, those on the chair, I'm just going to show you something first. Grab your mat to lie it down on the floor and if you're going down on the floor, can you position your camera so that I can see you on the floor. When you're in a chair, please note now, chair means that it must be a stable chair. You don't want to be leaning back and lifting your legs and it all goes wobbly. It must be stable. When you're in the chair, a lot of these stomach exercises you're doing, you're coming to sit right on the end of the chair and leaning back and holding onto the chair somewhere so that we can do all sorts of exercises here, okay? If you're on the floor now, grab your mat. Can you tell me, I don't want to get the telly showing. Oh, this. Is it okay? Can you see the mat? Oh, uh, yeah. Right, so whether you're in the chair or on the floor, you're going to put the band behind your back again. So remember how we did that. Take it out wide and then chuck it over your back and then get it under, down low, under your elbows, under your armpits. If you're in the chair, this is what you're going to do. For this one, sorry, you're going to sit right at the back of your chair. And if we're on the floor, we're doing exactly the same thing, but lying down. So my feet are hip widths apart, and I'm pushing my arms and legs up to the sky as I pull the belly in, and then release it down. If you're in the chair, do the same. So let's go. Push the arms forwards, palms facing the ground, legs come straight off the floor, squeeze the belly, squeeze the pelvic floor, and release. Keep going there. Take a breath in, breathe out, push either up to the sky or forwards with your arms and your legs. Can you lift the legs? And if you can't lift both legs, lift just one leg, pulling the belly into the ground and release. Do it again. Lifting the arms 
and the legs or stretching them forwards if you're on the chair. Pull your belly in, squeeze your pelvic floor. So you can feel your core muscles working. This will make you really strong in the core. And release, do it again. Push through, keep breathing through your rib cage. Squeeze in. And release. Again, one more time. Slide, push through, hold. Squeeze. You should feel all these muscles here working. Can you please give me a yes if you can? If you're in the chair, give me a yes. And release. So let's do that to a single time movement. Get ready. Five, six, seven, let's go. Squeeze and push and release. Again, squeeze and push and release. Now if you're on the floor, you can lift your head and shoulders as well. Squeeze and lift the head and shoulders off the ground. Give me four more. You should feel your core muscles working. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your belly, squeeze your pelvic floor. And if you can't do both legs, do one leg at a time. I think we should do four more, let's go. Four, again, three. Of course you can rest any time you want to. Two, one more, one more, and one and release if you're on the floor you can rock your knees from side to side if you're on a chair just go from opposite shoulder to opposite knee good you just want to loosen up there chair people i'm just going to show you this we're coming down to lie almost as much as you can on the chair. When you pull the belly in, it rounds the spine towards the back of the chair. You hold onto the chair, lift one knee and down. Come onto tiptoes. Come onto your tiptoes, lift one leg up and down. Keep going. Now you should feel it here. So if you can't feel it, you need to contact me and say, Jenny, I didn't feel that one. Now, if you're on the floor, we're doing the same thing. Put your hands behind your head or out to the side if you're on the floor. Squeeze the belly, squeeze the pelvic floor. Keep your knee bent as you raise the leg up off the floor. Squeeze. Three. Two. One, and release and relax. Come and sit up. And get your band again, everybody. Wide, so it's going behind the back, underneath the armpits, again. Now, you're coming to the front of the chair. Same thing, chair or floor, well, similar. My feet are on the floor here. Feet firmly on the floor. Now, as I push the band forward, I'm rounding the spine, tucking the tailbone under and leaning back. So if you're on the chair, now your back is touching the chair. Now, as I come forward and sit upright, I'm opening the arms. Okay, get ready. Five, six, two counts, let's go. One and two, up and two. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze the belly in, squeeze up through your pelvic floor, make sure you are breathing, good, we're leaning back and sitting up, and give me four more like this, and three, And two. One more. Come back, lean back, lean back. Let's go, lean back and hold. Lift one leg and down. Other leg and down. Did you feel it, Susie? Even if you're in a chair, you should be feeling it. Squeeze the belly, you can really feel it in the groin here. 
And four more. If it hurts your back, come up a little bit. Two more, one more, and release, come and sit up. Good. Okay, so we're going to now have a little rest. We need to have a little stretch there. If you're in a chair, come behind your chair. If you're just standing, we're going to come and stand up and do, because you can feel these muscles that have been working here. So we need to do a counter pose for you. We need to stretch them out. So get your legs comfortably wide. You're either holding onto the chair. In actual fact, I'm going to turn Susie so you can see her body when it arches. Do you want to either hold something stable or you can put your hands on your back? Now, push your feet down so you feel more stable. Squeeze the belly, the bottom, the pelvic floor. Push your hips forwards to feel that stretch. Squeeze your bum. Now you can keep your hands on your back or hold the chair, but I've not let the head come back. I'm just letting the head come down. Squeezing and stretching. Now squeeze your belly in, pull it in to come up again. That makes it safe. Good. Now, work in the backs of the legs. You can hold onto a chair or not. If you're not holding the chair, you might want to use the band as well. It really depends on how stable you are. So all we're going to do here is pull the band open like this while we go up onto the toes. So my feet are just hip width apart, all people. We squeeze the belly, the bottom, the pelvic floor and bring your base rib cage back. What I mean is, if we are arching at all, then it's bad for the back. So I want to tuck the tailbone under and bring the rib cage over the hips. And that means that then I've got these muscles engaged here. So we're just going to pull the bands apart as we go up onto the toes. And when you're ready, let's go. Stretch through your knees. Squeeze your bottom. Squeeze up your pelvic floor. You don't have to use the band. You can hold the chair if you want to. Squeezing up, pulling up through the pelvic floor. Your bottom is connected. Your knees are stretching. When you come up onto the toes, make sure you come up onto the balls of the feet and the big toes, as well as the little toes, so it's all equal. We do not want our ankles to fall out to the side like that. We're gonna keep them in a straight line. Let's go faster, let's go. And one, two, Pulling in, pulling up. Five, six, seven. Again, let's go. Eight, seven. You should feel it in the back of the legs now. Can you feel it, it Susie? In, in your calves. Now squeeze your bum more so that you can feel it right up here by your thighs. If you need to rest, then rest the arms. Keep the legs going. Last eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, and release. Well done, give your legs a shake. We need to stretch those legs. So you're either gonna push against a chair, a wall or something, or if you're like me, I'm just gonna put my hand on my knee and bend your front knee to push your back heel down into the floor. The back leg is straight, knee stretching, heel pushing down. And release. Let's come over onto the other side. Bend your front knee. Place your hands either on your leg or the chair, pushing against the chair or a wall. So you can feel that back leg stretching. And release. I want to do another stretch there. Come and sit on the chair or Take one leg straight forward. So I'll show it from here. I'm bending my knees, one leg straight. Lean on your bent leg and then stretch your straight leg coming down low, getting right down the hamstrings. So basically it's the same on a chair. One knee bent, foot on the floor, other leg straight, pulling towards the toes if you can reach them. And release and let's come over onto the other side. One straight leg, one bent knee. 
slide down your bent knee and then reach towards the toe. If you can't reach the toe, don't worry, just reach towards it. You should feel that right down your hamstrings in the back of the leg. And release. Now, squats, we're all doing them together. Those that need a chair, you can hold onto the chair. Those that don't, we're gonna just work it. Get your legs out really wide and your toes pointed outwards. You wanna check that your back of knee is a straight line with your heel. Okay, down and up, down. This should not pain you at all. I'm gonna explain some things, keep going. If you get a pain on the inside of the knee, your heels should come in a bit more. Pain on the inside of the knee, put more weight on your outer foot. Squeeze the belly in. More weight on your outer foot and less weight on your inner foot if you've got it on the inside of the knees. Good. Now, if you're ready to go for it, bring the arms up. Breathe out, breathe in. Squeeze up your pelvic floor. So I'm doing just legs here so you can concentrate on that bum thigh area. And four. Keep your tailbone tucked under when you sit down into the legs. Now hold the arms out. Eight, small, seven, six, five, four, three, two, again, and Right, darlings, I can do this all day. So I need to know from you, are you feeling it yet? Go, yes, I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> relax and release, relax, release. Good, give yourself a loosen up. <laughs> Love it. Okay, let's get back to the core. Come lie down, Susie, uh, on your chair, sit on your chair. Right, grab your bands, darlings. This time, we're putting the band around your legs. So this is how it goes. I've got to show you first, because if you've not done it and you do it too loose, it's no good. So I'm closing the legs. Whether you're sitting or standing, it's the same. I'm crossing over. Now I'm pulling it and then knotting it. And the reason is because it, you can't just pull it in. Now once I've given it one knot, I'm then going to give it one bow because then you can get it off easy. One knot, one bow, and then you can pull the end to get it off. Otherwise, you're struggling for ages trying to get two knots off. Now, if this compromises your back, but it shouldn't, I want you to stop and perhaps get my attention and I'll speak to you. So we're sitting on the edge of the chair or we're lying down. Our feet are hip width apart and we're pulling out open the band. Now we're going to take the feet off the floor. With the chair, you're going to lean back. Hold on to the chair and you take the feet even a bit off the floor and down. You should feel that in your lower belly. Okay, let's go everybody. Up and up and down and down. Up and up and down and down. Breathe out as you come up and breathe in as you go down. Breathe out, lift, breathe in. Four more. Again, three more, again, two more, one more, and up and down, have a little rest, too easy. So now we're going to bring the upper body towards the legs and that includes if you're in a chair but you're still holding on and you want to really crunch your belly muscles to do that. Now, if you're lying down, you can just put your hands by the side of your head. You bring it up and down. Let's go. Breathe out. Breathe in. Keep those legs open at the knees. A 
and turn. Squeeze the belly to lift. Relax your neck and squeeze. Again. Breathe out. Breathe in. Two more. Two. Now if you're in a chair, you might not be able to do the double time. Keep going slowly if you wish. If you're up on the floor there, we're going to hold it up there off the floor, if you can. Give me small squeezes with your upper body. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Can you do it, Susie, or is it hard? Three, two, and give me eight more. So do what Susie's doing. She's doing a couple, and then she's letting her feet back down to the floor. That's if you're in a chair. Okay, let's go. And eight, seven, six. Nearly there, squeeze your abs, think your mind to your abs and release it down. Rock from side to side with your hips. Rolling your back into the mat. You can do that there, so you feel a bit release. Good. Now, I'm coming here to show you because it's, it's almost the same sitting or standing. I'm coming to pick up the top of my mat so that we can relax the neck a bit more. I'll show you what I mean. My head is just below the mat and when I pick the head up, my elbows are forward so that I can relax the head as I do this. I'll show you on the ground first. I open the legs and come forward, I close the legs and go down. Open the legs, come forward, close the legs, go down. If you guys on the floor can keep, get into that now, it's open the legs, come forward, close the legs, go down. So keep going there. Nice and controlled. If you're in a chair, the knees are together and the feet are open. I'm holding on to the chair and now I'm going to open the knees as I come forwards and up and then lean back, close the knees. Squeeze the belly in to come forwards and open. Yes? Squeeze the belly to make it work. Good. to me there should be no pain except for the muscles that you're working hold it open and pulse a little bit one two three squeeze the belly squeeze the pelvic floor last set here we go eight seven six five pull up your pelvic floor even more and release and relax Rock your body. If you're on the floor, bring your knees in and rock from side to side. If you're on the chair, rock your bum from side to side like that. Good. What did you do about the back of the other side? Okay. We're going to take the band undone. But keep it there around your legs. So I'm just undoing the bands now. So whether you're sitting in a chair or sitting on the floor with your legs straight. Now, yes. We can put your feet on the floor. About the core and the arms here. Now, so the band is behind my legs. Now you see how the band, I'm holding it so that I'm just holding the side of it there and it's flopping over the back of my hand like that. So my palm is holding the band there. And we want to keep the arms, I'll show you from here, keep the elbows tucked into the body and pull the band up 
so that when the band is pulling up, it, the elbows are touching the band here like this. Yes, yes, yes. So if you're sitting, you can stay there. Push your feet down as you pull the band up and the legs push down here. We want to hold our hands quite close to the legs so there's not much band there. Okay, squeeze the belly, sit up tall, squeeze the pelvic floor. We pull up, hold, two, three, release again, one, two, three, keep going again. Now, when you pull up the band, you're also stretching up your spine. Three, release again, one, two, squeeze in your waist, squeeze up your pelvic floor, squeeze your bottom, squeeze, push your feet down so that you feel it, or your legs pushing down so you're feeling more resistance. Again, give me four more like this. And again, here we go, squeeze. So you should feel it in your core as well as the arms and shoulders. Two, three, one more time here like this. Elbows touching the band. Single time, let's go. Goes, one, release, two, release. Squeeze up that pelvic floor. Four more, five, six. Now we're going double time. Let's go doubles, one and two. So it's faster, four, five. Pull up through your spine. You can feel it in the arms now, eight more, eight. Push down your feet or legs. Squeeze in through your core like you've got a girdle on. And four, three, two, hold it up there. Double, double time, pumping. Three, eight, seven, six, five, four. Is that enough, Susie? She's making funny faces. And release. Well done. Give me a loosen up. <laughs> We're going to have a stretch there, arms up to sky. Exhale, if you're in sitting on the floor, just do a forward bend. Now, I'm going to show you what to do. One leg like before. In a chair, one leg bent, one leg straight onto the edge of the chair. One leg straight forward bend. And yes, we did that before. But if you're sitting on the floor, you're just going to do it here. Now what I'd like you to do, is if you can't reach your toes, then get the band and put it around your feet and pull in. So the band can go around the feet and you can pull in a little bit more and breathe. Come on, let's have a look at you all. And so, if you were doing one leg on a chair, change your leg over now. If you're doing both legs straight, then just stay there. You can rock around on your bum a little bit. That always feels nice. And release. Well, do you know what? How do you feel? Do you feel like you've worked out? We're going to have a stretch out now. Where on the chair is really hard to do it. <clears throat> but we'll still have a go. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Can everybody on the chair get down onto the floor just for a stretch? Is that possible? Mm -hmm. Slowly get down onto the floor. Let's do that then. Because it's the best place to stretch on the floor. Another place you could do it is on your bed. So you wouldn't have to get down and up. You could just go to your bed and just lie on there and have a stretch there. Right, so do come down onto the floor, Susie. Is that all right? Right, so we're gonna put our feet together and the knees open. We just sit up nice and tall and bend the elbows to draw your upper body through. Now when we're 
here in stretches, we need to breathe very slow and deep. So that not only the movement is calming you down, or the stillness is calming you down, but also the breathing is calming you down. So just take a nice deep breath in slow. Pause for a moment. And then breathe out deeply, squeezing right down to your lower belly. And a slow deep breath in again. And breathe out. So we're just being very patient with ourselves. Our mind is on our body, feeling ourselves at the edge. Stretching should feel pleasant. If, you're, if it doesn't feel pleasant, you're pushing too hard. You just go to the edge. And we're going to come up out of there slowly. Good. Now, either put your one hand on the floor or your elbow and hold on to your foot and bring the knee back. So we'll get the front of the thigh stretching. And release. Now, darlings, let's go on to the other side. So if you're up for doing this on a regular basis, you will get stronger. You will. I have taught so many people over the years, and the resistance bands are the safest, most progressive. And release. We're going to sit up and take your legs out wide this time. Stretch your kneecaps and then come over to one leg and down towards the leg just as far as you can go. Twist a bit more to your outer thigh so that you can feel that in your back of waist here on one side. Be patient with yourself and breathe slowly. And release, coming up, coming over to the other side, and down. Then twist a bit more to your outer thigh and breathe. Do you feel it in the opposite side of your back? Be patient with yourself with a nice deep breath. And just give the body time to let go and open up. And release, come up slowly. Down center, so either holding the legs. If you're supple, of course, I'm not expecting anybody to get to the ground today. Darling. You could just stay wherever it's right for you and breathe. Now listen, just before we come up, Row your thigh bones away from your hip bones. Feel more muscles across your buttocks and hips connect. Hold it for a moment and slowly come up. Bring your legs in and give them a good old pump out into the floor. Let's do a cat. So onto all fours and stretch your spine round. Tuck in your tailbone right under, head under. Now release back to centre and then into the opposite direction. Stick up your bottom, lean your head up, press the centre of the spine down, stretch your arms at the elbows, twist your biceps to front wall, pull your shoulders back away from the ears, look up and breathe. Again, have patience with yourself. And when you're breathing, it's going to electrify the muscles more and your nervous system. And then we're going round again. So go round again, but this time, bring your hands closer to your legs. So that as you tuck your tailbone under, you're going to feel more stretch in your lower back again. Head right under. And release. Come down onto your 
Also from take your leg straight, put your hand onto the opposite leg and the other hand behind and twist to look behind you and breathe. Use your arms to lever your mouth further. Now that release for a moment and watch that leg you're holding take it over the knee and maybe you can get your arm over and twist again. And release, straight legs. First, sit up tall and take the hands over to the opposite leg. Take your other arm behind and then use your arms to twist you around and breathe. Then release, and that leg that you're holding, take the foot over the knee, and then bring your maybe arm over a bit more, and twist the same side again. And release. Just sit with your legs either crossed or even straight in front of you and come over on one side with one hand on the floor. And slowly reach up and over to the other side. Slowly reach up, take your legs out straight again. And as you come to one side with both hands, come down towards the floor so you get a nice twist in your spine again at the lower back. And do that on both sides as you exhale. You inhale, come up, you exhale, you go down. We're just loosening off that lower back. Now to finish, if it's okay to, feet open. Knees together and lie down on your back and relax for a moment or so. Good. Now focus that your back has flattened into the ground. Your shoulders are pulling away from your ears. Listen. Take a deep breath in. Fill up your lungs. Hold your breath. As you breathe out, let your body go as if a magnet drags your bones into the floor. We're going to do that again. Deep breath in, fill up your lungs, hold your breath. As you let go of the breath and the body, observe your body sink deeper. One more time. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, let go, release and relax your whole being. Even your mind is not thinking, it's just watching. Now breathe naturally and feel the sensations of your body. Feel the tingling sensations, feeling the muscles that have been worked and how relaxed you feel after exercise. Acknowledge how the mind feels elevated. You feel more focused. And the mind is, yeah, more centered, not moving around all over the place. You feel integrated, in touch with yourself a bit more. Now we're going to come round and you're going to start taking some deep breaths. Deep breath as you start to wiggle your toes and fingers and then take a stretch out. Stretch your arms above your head, stretch your legs out, stretch even through your waist. 
and then bring your knees up into your chest and hug your legs and roll over your back to relax the back and wake it up get that blood flowing again your mind is focusing on the back and how it feels And then push yourself up to sit. Beautiful. So we're just gonna rub our hands like this. Put them above the head and rub them and breathe. It gets you going again, wakes you up. Breathing deep. After ex exercise is a really good time to eat. A very good time to drink. And you should feel relaxed and release, give your hands a shake, you can put your hands on the floor, give your feet a shake, and give yourself a clap, beautiful people, love you, bye.